And guys, it's looking pretty bearish here. According to the volume profile, we're going to get to MPK looking at Amazon. Amazon made a classic volume pro point of control breakdown, volume <laughs> profile breakdown. So we broke the point of control. We broke out of the value area. We retested the value area, got rejected. And now we're creating more value to the downside here. Amazon is looking bearish. Traders like it at lower prices. Next up, J-Rod is looking at Uber. All right, so Uber made a huge move down because we broke the point of control. We also broke, and I know Chris Johnson's gonna get excited about this, the trinity of the moving averages. We had the 21, 50, 200 day moving average. Broke that, using it as a resistance. Uh, I'm looking at Uber to get to 25.90. And a breakdown below that, that's going to be a fun ride, a fun Uber ride to 23.43. Last up, we got Bernie Bear. Bernie Bear, I hope that you're being a Bernie Bear about WW because this one looks bearish as well. Could not get above into this thin zone with earnings. Earnings got rejected out of this thin zone. This would have been a bearish, a bullish move. 50-day moving average just holding it hostage. Now we're under the point of control. I'm looking at WW down to 340. Chris Johnson. Hey, Chris. Oz. Hey. All right. We're looking at a bunch of bears here. WW, Amazon, Uber. Pick your poison if you agree with any of them. I got to go with Amazon here. I'm sorry. Retail. You know, we're going to get, and I actually, the retail numbers are out at 830. I didn't get a chance to look at them yet, but retail numbers are coming out. The consumer is weakening. Obviously, AWS and all that stuff is, uh, is doing better right now, but you've also got Oracle starting to go after a little bit more of their lunch. They announced earlier this week they're trying to level up on Amazon and Microsoft with Azure. So this uh, 90 level has been key, Vaz. It's the bottom that we saw in November. We got a little bit of a bounce. It's been doing the same thing the cubes have been doing, trading sideways, but it's been doing it still with the downward bias. I look at that 90 level, and if we crack it today, the key level, and I hope the volume profile matches up, is 87 here on uh, Amazon. 86. 86. I think you can yep. trade this down, given a little bit of time and space, you can trade this down to an 80. Look out at February. Don't look at January. Look at February on the Amazon calls. And I go right at the money on this thing. I go at the 90s, February 90. Uh, I'd say calls, puts. What am yeah, I puts, saying? I know. I was going yeah, to, yeah. I was trying to hardware my brain to go after some calls here. So <laughs> <laughs> the only calls you're going to make, Chris, are some bearish calls. All right. We're going to, no, we're going to, yeah. But you know what? Uh, the, the market looks like it might be finally coming around, but I have been trying to look for some calls out there to buy. But Amazon, yeah, that Feb 90. They're a little pricey right now. They sit here at six bucks before everything opens. Uh, but man, if we get that move down to 80, you're talking about 75, 80% just on intrinsic value alone right there. And that is an amazing trade on Amazon.